Okay, so how to clean a barbecue. This has been outside uh, under an eave, so it's getting lots of dust and uh, dirt all over it, and the stainless steel is uh, looking really, really filthy and marked. We've got the standard barbecue stuff down here with some burn marks and bits and pieces, particularly down here. Uh, this really is pretty feral. Got the sprays and the fat and the dirt. So we're just going to give it all a wash. And this really isn't complicated. Uh, I've been wiping it down as I go with paper towels and you know cleaning cloths and things like this. But eventually they just get to a point <clears throat> where they need a little bit more attention than that. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to just give it a good old hot soapy wash. Uh, these guys are actually made <clears throat> to be outside, so you can get them a bit wet. But uh, this here, because it's a barbecue, it's got, you know, fat is sprayed around and so forth, so the dirt won't just wipe off. Um, so I've actually got some, just a, a bucket of hot soapy water with a big rag, and uh, we're gonna give it an all a good wash down. Okay, so here we go. Just gonna wet it all down to start with. <laughs> Very grainy and horrible feeling. So just get it all damp, let it soak in. It's going to be a real scrub to start off with, but now coming up there already. The um, soap you use is very important because uh, barbecues, of course, get a lot of fat sprayed around. Fats. Hopefully a lot of cow fat on some good steaks down there. If you find you're rubbing and it's just sit here, it's definitely very, very fatty, like from when the lid's lifted up. Um, so I'm just going to let that soak for a bit, and we can get even some more soap on there to break that up, maybe if need be. And again, this here. We've got some construction going on near us with a lot of heavy equipment, so there's quite a bit of dust in the air at the moment. And then you mix that with a bit of rain and you get a pretty big mess. And that's all building up here and mixing with the fat. Okay. Up on the top, I've got enough soap to deal with what's going on up there and that's coming off really, really nicely. All that grained in dirt is coming off. Here, yeah, I'm going to get some more soap in the mix and um, get it a little bit stronger to clean that off. The soap I'm using is some uh, Amway, just the LOC, just their multi purpose cleaner. It's um, super concentrated, so there's not a lot left in here. So I'll put it all in. Rinse out, just keep it all out. Okay, so now we'll give it a wash. Where's the rag gone? Where's the rag? There we go. So we'll get the soapy mix going and um, give it all a wash with the extra soapy bit. Now I can keep scrubbing at that, but I'm actually going to get a little bit more soap and um, just put some of that on straight to get that off. So we've got to get it right off this front edge and off the um, parts here as well. So yeah, I need more soap. There we go. I'm actually going to put that direct onto the rag. And then I'm going to apply that all of these areas that are really fatty. There, and also here, get on the controls. Get the one at the top edge there.
opportunity to uh, upgrade things a bit here along this edge here. It's just not coming off, so I'm going to upgrade the little things a little bit. I uh, need a scourer, so scourer. Okay, so we'll get some soap directly onto that. Just going to run it on that front edge there. Okay, why hold back? This is tough. Plenty of soap on there, let it do the work for me. And soak it on. We had a big flame out and a fire here. So that got pretty serious along there. Oh, look at that. in China so sometimes not saying this one but sometimes what is sold as stainless steel can actually be mild steel with a bit of varnish on it so I don't want to rub that varnish off because then it will start to rust which is what happened to my last stainless steel barbecue which wasn't stainless steel at all but um, went all rusty up on the top and which wasn't stainless steel at all, but um, it went all rusty up on the top. And, um Straight away on that burn mark. A lot of that um, smoke stain up there, where it was all marked, came straight off. So again, a combination of soaking and um, hard work. I'm going to scrape this under edge as well. I'm not going to focus too much on that though, because as soon as you have the next grill, it's going to. That's a pretty concentrated spot. I'll just get the excess off for a bit. I'm going to get it pretty, but I do want to get this burn mark here off if I can. Soak again. tough bit that's left is up there. Um, I'm going to go, I need to upgrade even more, so I'm going to go for an even tougher scourer now. So, 
Okay, this is um, just something I've grabbed out of the kitchen. No, sorry, something that just appeared. Uh, it's a pot scouring, look a little um, stainless steel scouring pad. And as I said, I'm not overly confident on the quality of this stainless steel, but I need something stronger to uh, have a scrub on this part of the lid. instant results and I'm not going to scrub that too much because I don't want to take the surface off. If I give that a little go down there as well, right on the edge, still a bit wet. That's great. Give it a run on that instant edge. Yeah. Okay. But, so kicking on the uh, Okay, all right, so now it's time for a once over. I'm just going to give everything a, a run over now or what? Plenty of water on there so I can run it off. Finally, rather than getting onto something and scrubbing it, if you get um, hot soapy water on it and let it soak, it um, really makes things a lot easier. It can be a whole lot of effort. That's why I've sort of bounced around the different parts of this as I've gone. Hose off. Get the doors a bit of once off just because I can. things like taking care of my cars, I like taking care of um, different items, so it's good to give something take a bit of time, give it a wash. Okay, so now I'm uh, going to get some paper towel and uh, give it a wipe down with paper towel. While it's all really clean, uh, there's still going to be some fat there, so if you use a tea towel or something, you will have to put it in the wash. So I'm just going to use some uh, paper towel and I can just throw it straight out. Paper towel. I won't do this in future videos, don't worry. So then, towel it all off. That's just going to stop the drips from drying overly and give it one final wipe. So, you know, you can get barbecue, cleaning wipes, and you know, all sorts of things. Just a little touching up as you're going, awesome. But if your um, barb has been sitting for a while and not been used, maybe starting it up for the season, then that's probably going to need a little bit more than that. So, big bucket of hot soapy water. It's a lot like washing your car, actually. And um, give it all a good wash and get you started. This is the first time I've given this a good wash. Uh, since I've had it, but when we had the big burnout, the big flame mark and everything else, I uh, decided to get it back to nice and clean, which really, it was looking very aged, it was filthy dirty with a big burn mark and you know, looking like a brand new machine again, so it's only a bit over six months old, so definitely still want it looking the part. So there you go, looking beautiful. 
Now, one last tip, I am going to turn this on, so it's all wet and I don't want the cast iron plates to rust. So I'm going to turn it on as a way of drying it out. I'll, um, I'll get the water off that hot plate, and then just turn the whole thing on, it won't take long uh, to dry it out. And beautiful.